how to build a launch pad. Let's look at all the parts you'll need. A rolling cart. A Rubbermaid cart is shown. Select your own option or build one inexpensively with plywood and four wheels. A handle for pushing may not be necessary. The cart should be at least 30 inches long and 20 inches wide. Purchase two sheets of two foot by two foot half inch plywood. Check the directions for measurements to make your two cutouts. You will need at least five and a half feet of two by four. Check the directions for the cutting measurements. Another option other than the two by four is to use two by six and rip it so that its width is four and a half inches. This will give you just a bit more width to the cannon rack. With this modification, the poof cannon won't rub against the sides when raised or lowered. This takes extra work, but some find the modifications worth the effort. Use up to 25 one and a fourth inch decking screws. Also 20 two and a half inch decking screws. Two L brackets about five or six inches. Glue for attaching the red spinning disco light. 10 inch plastic locking ties for attaching chasing lights. Purchase six feet of two inch PVC pipe. Cut into the lengths listed in the directions. You will need six and a half inches of three inch PVC pipe. You will also need six inches of half inch PVC pipe. Two half inch caps. You will need six two inch 90 degree elbows. You will need a two inch floor drain, bell shape. Check the plumbing section for shower and drains. Be sure to remove the metal piece under the floor drains before using in the assembly. You will need a total of two three inch water closet flanges. PVC glue and spray paint of your choosing. The special lighting effects and sound effects require the following. The directions will help you locate where to purchase specialty items. One power strip, remote control with multiple outlet adapter, running chase lights, or you could use Christmas lights, the red spinning disco light, sound siren, or a soundtrack recorded on cassette tape with a tape player. We strongly recommend these special effect items because they help make the launching pad a memorable experience for every kid. But they are not necessary for the poof cannon to operate. If you choose not to have any flashing lights or sound effects, you won't need a power strip, nor the pedestal in the front of the machine that the red light sets upon. You would only need an extension cord to the poof cannon. You might make your own sign to hang on the machine. You will need an extension cord up to 25 feet on a reel that connects to the power strip. You will also need another short extension cord that goes directly to the poof cannon. For tools, you will need a saw of your choice, drill with a various bit and a Phillips screwdriver bit, jigsaw, saw to cut PVC, sandpaper, tape measure, and marker. Begin assembly by cutting out the sides of the cannon rack according to the measurements. Remember, these two plywood pieces will be placed together with the finished surfaces facing out. Therefore, mark the same outline on one board's finish side and the other board's rough side. You can use a two inch pipe to outline where you will cut the semicircle that the cannon fits into. You can use half inch pipe to draw the circles where the range adjuster tube will be inserted. Use a jigsaw to cut the semicircle notch that the cannon will fit into. Use a one and a fourth inch bit to drill the holes for distance adjustments. Use sandpaper to smooth rough edges. It's a good idea to paint this entirely before you assemble your cart. Priming your wood before spray painting is another good option. Cut your two by fours according to the directions. Midway in the vertical board, Drill a one and a half inch opening for the electrical cord from the disco light. Paint one side of this vertical board. Paint the seven inch two by fours that will be used as pedestals for the sign apparatus. Paint your PVC pipe using plastic paint. Here we have taped the PVC to make red stripes. Remember, you may want to prime the PVC if you are not using paint designed for plastic. Also paint the pedestal that will hold the red spinning disco light at this time. Paint the six inch pipe and both flanges. Let dry completely. 
Begin assembly of the cannon rack by attaching one side to the base 2x4 using one and a quarter inch decking screws. Then attach the vertical 2x4 also using one and a quarter inch decking screws. Flip it over and attach the other plywood side. After using only a few screws, test to make sure that it stands level. Then finish attaching that side. Now assemble the front pedestal for the red spinning disco light. Dry fit the pedestal first to make sure the height is accurate before you glue. Set the pedestal with the red spinning disco light and the cannon rack on the cart. Adjust the distances so they are centered on the cart and everything fits. Place the poof cannon on the rack to test and make sure the cannon can move freely up and down and does not hit the light. When you are satisfied with your distances, glue the pedestal together. Fasten the cannon rack to the base with two and a half inch screws. Glue or attach red spinning light to its pedestal. Put the light cord through the hole of the cannon rack and fasten light pedestal to cart. This is an example of the sign apparatus. Since we are making one with stripes, we painted each part before assembly. Dry fit together, make sure pieces fit, and the apparatus will stand level. Adjust by trimming pipe if necessary. Glue together while laying parts on a flat surface. Make sure you have removed the metal drain from the 2 inch PVC drains that will serve as the base. Begin gluing from the top and work your way down. When you glue, continue to check your parts to make sure the glue is setting in such a way that the parts are staying square to one another. Finish off by inserting the range adjuster tube. This is the half inch pipe that slides into the side holes of the cannon rack and held by the half inch cap. This will change the pitch of the poof cannon and determine distance. Determine the placement of the sign apparatus. Situate the cannon so it can be easily taken out of its rack without interfering with the sign. When ready, use two and a half inch decking screws to screw in the wooden pedestals on both sides of the rack. These wooden pedestals will be much more solid to screw the sign apparatus into than the plastic cart itself. Once these are secure, attach the sign apparatus with screws through the bases and into the wood pedestals. Should you ever have to remove the sign apparatus for loading this in a car, it's as easy as unscrewing these four screws. Attach a five inch bracket on both sides of the cannon rack to make sure it remains firmly vertical. Attach extension cord. You may have to use small pipe clamps. Attach the electrical equipment that you have selected. This may be remote control apparatus or running lights, the red rotating light, or sound. There should be ample room to neatly fold the electrical cord within the cannon rack. Wind running lights around the sign apparatus and attach with plastic ties. Another short extension cord can go from the power strip directly to the poof cannon. The power strip can be the only plug that attaches to the wind-up extension cord. Attach a sign of your choosing.